Right, Carl, let's do a competition. Chance to win, uh, some of the product that we've got out that Carl doesn't want to, um, talk about. Because he's too lazy. No, it's not that. If it's um, oh. well, if you do want to, uh, win a copy of this book, um, Ricky Gervais presents The World of Carl Pilkerton. It's by, um, all three of us, uh, and it's some of the, uh, uh, musings and thoughts and ideas from the, the podcasts. Carl has, uh, um, got some new theories. It's illustrated throughout. Um, by Carl Pilkington. By Carl Pilkington. It's got, um, excerpts from the diary. They're genuine, aren't they? They're just, they're photostated things from the diary that yeah. people haven't seen, and it's fascinating read. Um, we can sign that. We can also give you a, uh, copy of this new three-disc set, CD of the best of, is it the first series of the Ricky Gervais show? Yeah, well, it's got everything, actually. It's, uh, it's got, the whole, um, 12 first series that, that we did with, the, um, Guardian Unlimited, the award-winning, record-breaking podcast, um, it's also got, uh, some excerpts, if you want the, the best of, you can put that on, um, and it's got, uh, one hour of new material, which we recorded especially for it, but you can't get that, you can't buy that in the shops till the 13th of November, and I'll throw in the new Flannimals book, Flannimals of the Deep, it's the third in the trilogy, Carl, are you excited about that? Yeah. And, the uh, the question is, uh, do you want him? Okay, that's the quiz question. That's the quiz question, yeah. Okay. Is if that a trick question? No, 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 no. It's just the, the, the first correct answer. Uh, I'm not going to know what the correct answer is, but do you want him? And think, what, you know, if you do want him, then that might, you know, do, do, you know, what's the answer? Uh, and you can send that to podcast at rickygervais.com, include your name and address, and if you're the lucky winner, then we will send this stuff to you if you want it. And it's the first come, first serve, okay? So the first correct answer to the question, do you want it? Do you want that stuff? Do you want, do you want, do you want flannimals and the CD box set and the book and that? Okay, well if you know the correct answer to that, podcast at rickygervais.com. Good luck, everyone. Well, thank you for listening to the first of these three special podcasts, uh, with Guardian Unlimited. Um, the next one is out for Thanksgiving, um, 23rd of November. We don't actually celebrate Thanksgiving. What is Thanksgiving? Uh, it's a, it's a thing in America. Right. Uh, it's like, the, it's like the big holiday. Probably, probably rivals Christmas. Probably bigger than Christmas in... Well, what do we do here? But we don't celebrate here, do we? So, it's the, it's a date, isn't it? Yeah, but no one's gonna remember that, are they? 23rd of November they can remember, can't they? Yeah, but it's nice. Well, they should remember that's one day before my birthday if we're gonna celebrate anything. Okay. Well, we, we, we've got this one. The next one's the 23rd of November, and the next one's the 25th of December. Can we, c c well, how can I remember 25th of December? Um, well, Christmas. That's fair enough, that's Christmas, but Thanksgiving, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay! The next one's out about the 23rd of November, then yeah, after that, about the 23rd my, day before my birthday. Oh, they're gonna remember that, aren't they? It's Steve Day in Bristol. Yeah. Anyway. If you've enjoyed this special edition of the Ricky Gervais Show, the entire back catalogue is still available on iTunes under audiobooks, by the way, not podcasts, audiobooks, and you can get everything we've ever done. I'd like to thank the guys at Positive Internet for hosting this. Those great guys, what would we do without them? So, it's, uh, goodbye from me. Goodbye from Steve Merchant. Bye. And goodbye from Carl Pilkington. Welcome to the second in this series of three special free podcasts with The Guardian Unlimited, with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And Carl Pilkington. All right. These are a special thank you to all the fans that bought the last few uh, podcasts we've done. Still available on iTunes. <laughs> you can't miss it. It's at number one in the charts. Carl, it's Thanksgiving. I don't know what that means. I don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly in agreement with you, actually. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, no, but it was, uh, you know, the arbitrary dates are easy to remember for some people. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Easy to remember. I don't think Thanksgiving is. Well, it is in America, and- Yeah, yeah but I've never, I couldn't tell you, I mean, I've, I've been around for thirty odd years. I've never celebrated one of them. I've never done anything about it. No one has. I don't know any relation who has ever said, are you popping around for Thanksgiving? No, I don't know. When is it? I've never done it. Because it's not celebrated in this so country. why are we celebrating it? <laughs> We're not celebrating it. It's an arbitrary date to do a podcast. I just don't know what it's about. I mean, before you celebrate something. You don't celebrate you know, Halloween, do you? But we did that. No, but it annoys me how people don't actually know what the occasion is, but they celebrate it. Kids don't know what Christmas is about these days. It's just like, oh, get some toys. That's yeah, what I mean. So Thanksgiving, it's just another one, isn't it? It's another event. Okay, why do you celebrate Christmas then? Because uh, everyone else does. You can't get Brilliant. away from it. I'd quite happily block it out. 
If I did a new diary, I'd leave out that date and go, come on, let's, let's get on, let's do something good. Well, you, well, you go on holiday every two weeks. What's that to celebrate? No, I'm just but saying. But people need a little break, don't they? You know, it's a great- He does Christmas is a great time. Even yeah, if you but, take but away the problem the is, but what I don't like about it is everyone's off at the same time. So everything stops. See, what I'd do is, I'd say to people, do you like Christmas? Yeah. Right, when do you want to celebrate this year? And let them do it whenever they want. Well, that's ridiculous. Why? As long as you're remembering baby Jesus, does it matter when you're remembering him? But I- I-, I I'm an atheist and I celebrate Christmas because it's a time of year where everyone is off and everyone gets together. Yeah, I know. I don't care what they call it. The fact that we're all doing it at the same time is what's nice about no, it. There's it's a not. sense of community. No. National community. Everyone shuts down by about December 15th or whatever. And then it doesn't get going again till like January the 6th. But what is it you're missing out on during this period? Just, it's like two weeks there. That's, I mean, that bit between Christmas and New Year, you might as well delete that out of the calendar. Yeah, because heaven forbid you can't put down the library because it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. All, all that reading you've got to catch up on. <laughs> I'm just saying that we're wasting time. What, I've what never are you seen, doing that? <laughs> I've never seen anyone on this planet waste as much time as you. If say. you're not on holiday, you're following an insect around the fucking park. <laughs> so don't give me that shit. I'm just saying that. It, I-I don't like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Never a true well, word there said. we are, we've got to the nub oh, of it here. You don't like are. fun. This is true, you don't like no, anything. Christ almighty! You oh. do not like fun. No, organi <laughs> organised fun. I ate that thing, I've said it a bit before about, you know, it's that date, that's what you've got to do. <laughs> Will there come a time when someone goes, we've done it, we've done enough of this. Will there come a time, and for Thanksgiving? Possibly. Oh, yeah, possibly, yeah. Things things change, don't they? And you'll be happy then, will you? Uh In five thousand years' time. When we all worship Glong. Yeah. We, uh, just make a change. That's, that's all I want. Cos, you know I've been keeping a diary? Yeah. Uh What did you have in the calf yesterday, for example? We can read about that later. It's just, like Ricky said, oh, are you gonna, are you gonna do, you know, another one next year? And I wouldn't, because it's, you know, you do the same stuff every year, don't you? It's set up the same way. January, <laughs> February, it's the same thing, it's the same routine. Yeah. And, and if you're writing in Why a are book, they always doing them in the same order, those oh, months? It sickens me, Rick. Oh. That's you. you see, it's just easy to put stuff off whilst we've got this calendar, whereas if you didn't have a date, you'd have to do everything straight away. What? Say if I was in charge. Oh, mm. God, heaven forbid, yeah. And yeah. someone said, that building needs knocking down. Yeah. It's dangerous. If we didn't have a calendar, you go, mm, let's do it now then. Whereas, because we've got a calendar, it's easy to say, next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I love him! I love him! His oh. theories are amazing! I mean, I don't know, maybe he is a real visionary thinker. Maybe he is free- you know what I, th what I like about him though? All his- all his thoughts, they're about- they're about freedom of expression in a strange way. He's not burdened by anything. He just goes, well why do we think like that? But he who... questions everything. Like a true visionary scientist. But who gets a diary come Christmas time, which I know you hate, you yeah. know, for the next year and thinks, you f- what? what a piece of oh, shit. Now I've got to I'm put just some gonna do ne stuff when I wanna do it. I'm gonna take out next Wednesday. <laughs> There's no such thing no. as next Wednesday. No, but what I'm saying is, before the year's even started, I know in that new diary I can whiz forward to December 25th and I go, oh, another Christmas. I don't know what you mean. So everything's set in stone before I've even started the new year. It's like, oh, Pancake Tuesday, that's coming up. <laughs> so someone's already Remember decided. Remember Tuesday. Someone's already <laughs> decided. <laughs> someone's already telling me what I'm doing on half of the year. <laughs> But, oh, but just all those nice. pages oh, of blank, yeah. Carl, for you to fill up with stuff. Oh, guess what? Guess where my birthday is again? 23rd <laughs> of September. I'm just saying, move them about a bit, move the days about a bit so it doesn't get predictable. But when we when we change Pancake Tuesday to uh, Thursday, Thursday, do we tell anyone else? Um, yeah, they do an advert on the telly. Just saying, don't forget to buy your pancake mix. Uh, but so why? Carl, why not just stick with what we've already got? Because if you know Actually, it's buying everyone that, anyway- I, would, uh, bit, I wouldn't put a date on that pancake day anyway, just have them when you want. <laughs> Have it when you want. There's no big deal. You've got to make them yourself. It's not like some place is opening to do it. Have them when you want. I don't know why that's got a special day on it. Sick of it.